hello everyone this is adit back again with another video so in this video we are going to build a holo clone and uh, yeah so we will start from the front, uh, home page and then we will move forward like uh, if you are able to see this is our uh, this will be our home page and uh, we will just uh, uh, we will add the images and everything and uh, we will move forward we will also implement these images and uh, these texts and everything and we will also add uh, this when you click on any of this the it updates the image as well so yeah we will try to create this one and uh, yeah moving forward when we click on login uh, well if, uh, we haven't uh, i haven't implemented the login uh, uh, in this so what we will do is like we will just click on login and uh, this will redirect us to the main page and there we will uh, call an api for the movie list and then we will display it over here right so let's get started now and uh, we are going to build this in next years and we will also use Talvin CSS so let's get started so to start with the next is what we what, what we're going to need is uh, first of all is uh, let's open next uh, JS documentation we will get the reference from there and uh, this is the next JS. and uh, now what we will do is like uh, if we try um, start learning you will have to see like there is a setup tool okay so where uh, you will just have to grab the all uh, the next js okay so we will we are going to do uh, initialize a project in a next js and uh, we will do that by using create next uh, app okay so let's do that now so i'm going to create a directory on my desktop Okay, inside, uh, let's create a directory called holo clone. And inside, uh, let's navigate inside the holo clone as well. Okay, now what we will do is like we will just run this uh, command, uh, this command that we have over here. Like this is npx create next app. And this will be a holo clone yt. Uh, so I'm just putting YT over here so that it's uh, YouTube uh, video. So you can just keep it Hulu clone. That's completely fine. And we just hit enter. And now it will ask for, oh, okay, you want to proceed? Yeah. So let's do that. Now it is going to install some of the dependencies and it won't take much uh, time, but it will, yeah. No. Uh, um, So let this uh, finish and uh, after that we will have to open this in our VS code and uh, once we do that we will start implementing uh, Talvin CSS and everything. So it's done now. Uh, let's navigate inside the Hulu clone and uh, it's YT. Okay. So inside that we are going to open this in our Visual Studio code. And yeah, I have to trust on this. So now uh, I will just walk you through the uh, structure of the next JS. What happens is like uh, in next JS, you have a directory already called uh, pages. Inside that, um, like in React JS, what we do is like uh, for routing, we install a third party package like React, Navi uh, React Router DOM and then handle the navigation and stuff. But uh, in next JS, we don't need to do that. Or all we can do is like we just create a file and uh, and it will have a new URL, right? So I will walk you through that as well. Uh, just uh, let's just remove this one, uh, this all the content that is available inside. First of all, let's just run this and let's see what we are going to get. Okay, yarn and dev. So this is going to start on localhost 300. So we will just open the localhost 300, uh, not in this one. Uh, let me just uh, set up this first and uh, good. Now uh, over here, let's just uh, open this in a localhost 300 and uh, what we are able to see like uh, next JS by default give us a boilerplate like uh, when we click on documentation, it navigates us to the documentation page and uh, when we click on learn, it will also navigate us to that documentation. Okay. So now what we're going to do is like, we're just going to remove this first. So 
remove every content and uh, it's uh, over here okay so what we will do just clear this out and we're just going to put uh, hello world okay and i just save it and it will be all uh, compiled and uh, we will update the photo footer as well we don't need this photo that is that says the powered by person so we will do that and as of now i'm just i'm not putting anything in, in the uh, photo so now what we can do is uh, like uh, we all we also get a header uh, in, in next years like uh, uh, updating this in react.js what uh, we have to do is like we, we need to go to the index file and then update uh, the title of the app but in next yes uh, all you need to do is uh, just have a head tag and inside the head tag you define your title metadata and uh, links right so over here we are just going to update it to hello clone okay and just save it and now we are have to see like it is it is getting updated to hello hello world okay so this also has a styles that styles is coming from the home home dot module dot css so basically if you just wanted to create a css file for your uh, particular page then you need to define it in a similar way like uh, if i just want to create a some other route or some other page then uh, i need to put that page name over here then module.css and that will uh, then all the styles that we put inside it uh, that will uh, we will have to like uh, update the styles on that page as well okay so now uh, we also have a global css so we'll will not do much over here let's see uh, what we're going to need and now we are going to open a Tailwind CSS. First of all, I just wanted to set up the project. So let's just have a Tailwind CSS installed. And to do that, uh, which all we need to do is uh, let's have, we are doing it in a NPM as well. So now let's just run this command. And I'm going to open a, another terminal and uh, just hit enter. Okay. So Tailwind CSS is installed as a dev dependency. Uh, and now we just initialize this npx Tailwind CSS. Uh, what this will do is like this will create a Tailwind CSS config JS file. So let's just hit intro. And this has created this Tailwind CSS config file. And later we will put codes in this, in this as well. We just add colors and everything from here. And now uh, we need to put these three uh, Tailwind base, Tailwind component, Tailwind utilities in our global uh, global dot CSS. So let's just put it over here. Okay, and uh, then we also need to like uh, add run this command, and uh, this will start the Tailwind CSS CLI. I think. I think we don't need this in a while installing this in a next years. I think uh, so. Let's just do. Let's just see first. Okay. So basically, uh, to install it in your next years, uh, actually, I was just following the bare minimum, like uh, the in a normal project when we just use HTML and JavaScript, then we can just use this Tailwind CSS like this. But uh, if you are just using a framework, then uh, you can just uh, go to framework guide and uh, go through. There, there is plenty of them. Like uh, we have create React app, Laravel, Next.js, Next, and everything. So we are going to choose the Next.js. Inside the Next.js, we are just going to uh, this command again. Uh, this will install the post CSS and auto prefixer as well. So we'll run this again. Let's just do that. Okay, after running this command, what we can do is like we can just initialize it npx Tailwind CSS in it. Okay, so it has created one more file that is postcss.config. 
Mm, if we need any plugin, then we will add it over here. But as of now, I don't think we are going to need any of the pl plugins. So let's just keep it there. And inside the tailwind.config.css, config.js, we're gonna put this uh, line so that this will get like uh, all the files that we are going to uh, use is uh, J uh, JavaScript, uh, T uh, TypeScript, or JSX or TSX. So, so we just uh, copy this and uh, put it inside the Tailwind CSS, inside the content. Okay, and then we save it. We have also added, to, uh, add, uh, we have al already added this to our uh, um, global.css. And uh, now what we need to do is just run, uh, let's close this server and uh, start this again. And uh, let me just clear the terminal first and then we just uh, run dev, okay? So now, hmm. okay, so inside the Tailwind CSS, we have already put this code, so I don't think this will create any problems. And now you will have to see like uh, it is uh, our Tailwind CSS is installed because we, we were using H1 and now it requires a class name of Tailwind CSS so that uh, it, it can update according to that uh, CSS uh, that Tailwind CSS provide. So now what we can do is like, uh, uh, let's create a page first. I just wanted to show like uh, how can you just uh, navigate to another page and just create a page and it will create a route for that so let's just do that let's have a what we are going to call it as a dashboard dot js and let's have rfc and inside that let's have dashboard okay just let's keep it this, this way and now if we go over here and uh, we will try to just navigate to dashboard here we go so we are have to go navigate to dashboard and we don't need to put any other code to, to create a new page like uh, it will like normally when we use uh, create react app or react js project then we need to put this uh, like create a new route for this so you can just uh, add that way we are going to keep this dashboard.js later on we might need it and uh, there is one more directory called api so inside the api uh, what like uh, if we just wanted to create an api then uh, we can just use it uh, like uh, like if we have a next uh, sorry node.js api or express api then you can just create uh, all the routes and but I mean it will be complete like and you can just do all the stuff that is related to the API inside this API directory and the way you access it like if you just go to three lo localhost 3000 and put API and then hit enter so basically we are not having any of the APIs as of now but uh, I think it should have API slash slash hello, I think. And we are able to like, uh, see, this is the code and uh, this code is coming from here. So this is just returning uh, rest or status 200 and JSON, this one, okay. So this is how you set, um, aid api to uh, in in next years so we are not going to create any any apis in uh, next years or like in this tutorial we are not going to create any of them so and there is another uh, public file and uh, basically in this file uh, we have this fab icon and versal.svg uh, versal.svg we were rendering on uh, i think uh, like on footer so yeah and here we have the global styles and everything and these are just uh, po uh, config files so yeah that's it uh, that we have on the files structure so now we will start uh, coding and uh, we are going to put uh, 
stuff inside uh, like we will try to create the application so to do that uh, let's go to our index.js uh, inside the index.js we are going to create a, a file called header so let's just have a header and uh, we are going to create a, a directory called uh, components inside the component we are going to have a file called header dot js and we are going to have in header component <coughs> inside the header what we're going to have is like uh, let's have a div uh, with class have a class name and h screen and have full okay and then we can have a div as well which will have a mars class name as auto and uh, here we need to uh, create a button called uh, login so let's just have a nav first and inside the nav uh, we are going to create a link and this link is going to come from the next js as well so let's just have it for home sorry dashboard so basically when user will click on login it will be navigated to the dashboard and then we are going to have uh, let's just put login over here and we are going to put some classes as well so let's have classes called uh, text lz and uh, then font i'm just going to use the font that is available already available in Taliban css and uh, then text white okay so let's just uh, go to index and we need to import this file first so we just import it over here and now uh, one more thing that we need to do is like inside the home module we have so many styles and we don't need any of these styles so we're just going to remove it and save it so we are have to see like we are getting the login and uh, this is a link so basically this will navigate to us to the, the dashboard and now Inside the uh, index.css, uh, header.js, uh, we will have like index.js will be in the right side. So for that, let's first of all define some classes and let's call container and let's have a Mars in auto as well. Then flex, justify, wit pin and pt. Basically, this will add the paddings and then item and we're going to have the center and i'm using the flexbox over here so now what we can do is like uh, we are adding the justify between so it will be like if you have already used or uh, learned about the flexbox then what, you, you know that like uh, it will add the spacing between two elements so now oh, what we're going to do is like uh, we just create a div that we are not going to use it mm, so just have it as per our UI, we don't need this. We just need uh, this login over here. So we'll do that. And here we have our login. And uh, now, th uh, after the nav, we have another div. And inside the div, uh, we have the first paragraph. And that will be this one panel with any plan okay so and uh, we need to in, uh, display an image uh, the image that we have over here like uh, this image so we need to put the this image uh, we i kind of already uploaded this image in a, a cloud server and uh, it's called cloudy and uh, cloudinary and i have just put it over here and uh, that, this that gives you a link and you can just use that link to uh, get the image right and that image is also going to come from the next years. So let's just have it and uh, next years SRC. Let me uh, grab the image URL. 
so we will have this image an alt let's uh, for alternative i'm just putting something like a brand yeah and let's just have a width width of uh, 600 and height of uh, 100 i think that will work and now we just uh, save it and we will have to see like uh, Okay, so basically, if you want to add uh, images that is from coming from any third party URL or anything, then you need to add this rest.cloud. Like this image is from coming from Cloudinary. So we need to put rest.cloudinary.com inside our config. And mm, here it is written that you should put it inside the next.config. Okay, so next inside the next dot config, oh, we are going to have a domain. Let me check this. And over here, we are going to have image, and we are also going to have domains. And inside that domain, we're just going to put this one and let's save it and now it will work completely fine oh i need to restart the server first so now let's run this oh i need to put this image domain inside the next js config but i have put it this in that talvin config so that's why and i'm really sorry for that so i just need to save it and now i hope you guys already find uh, may have find out uh, the error now you just need to run npm run dev and now if you just uh, go to localhost 300 yes yeah, so we are getting the image over here and now what we need to do is like we need to uh, put this image at the center so to do that, uh, we are going to put some stylings and uh, inside the header, we are going to have a div and we're just going to put, I'm going to use a flexbox, so it would be easy, I think. And uh, now empty 40 and uh, justify center. And then we have items center. Okay, hopefully this will add this to the center. Okay, so we are able to see it at the center. Now, uh, what we're going to do is like, uh, we need some text. So I'm just going to uh, grab that all the text and uh, I will just walk you through that. So in below the div, below the image, uh, we're just going to have these texts. So let's just, uh, we are having this text now what we need to do is like we need to add an image over here as well and that will be in our background so here you will have to see like we have a background image so we need to grab that image first and uh, to do that uh, what we can do is uh, let's uh, go to um, over here, let's just go to global.css and we are going to create another. Or I think uh, we can be in the home.module.css. Let's just try this over here. And uh, okay, I'm just going to paste it. And I just wanted to show you another way of using the file, uh, image files in Next.js. Like we can, you can definitely uh, put it on the cloud and then get the URL and put uh, and put it over here. That will work completely fine. So there is another way uh, that uh, I need to show you, and that is like uh, if you just put the image inside the public directory. So let, let me grab an image uh, and uh, fill in Finder. Okay, so basically this image I need to grab this and put it inside this one. 
open it first and inside that we are just going to put uh, paste item so now uh, we are just going to use this style in, in our home so in our header.css so over here I think this will work and uh, all we need to do is just save it and hopefully this will work okay so this did not work but uh, let's just restart the server again and uh, after that maybe it will work okay what if i just put it inside uh, the global okay so now this is working somehow i think this home module is not getting added to this header i guess so anyway so this is working over here this is one of the way we can just uh, handle our image from the public directory and uh, now what we can do like we just go to our header and uh, we need to add uh, like uh, what we have is like this text should be in white in color so we just put uh, the text color to something else we just have text and white okay so this is how we create our like this is the header and there is also one text i have to see like we just need to put it also in the text uh, white so to just have text white and let's just save it and uh, now you will have to see like uh, this looks almost exactly the same as uh, we have uh, like this is the home page and now uh, we'll, we are going to move forward and we are going to implement some other sections as well like uh, if we just go to the one that we have already developed we have this section and these are the images that are coming so we'll implement that as well so to implement those things so now we are going to move forward and we are going to implement more stuff and uh, in so now we will integrate this series and this series section is basically this one uh, we are going to have this include plans and these images as well so to do that what we're going to do is uh, uh, we are going to have a series section and inside that we'll grab uh, add some data first so let's just have some data i'm just going to grab the data from i already have a uh, data somewhere available so i'm just going to copy and paste it over here so we can just use it okay so now what we're going to do, do, going to do is like well, let's create a main or a div let's just create a div and uh, inside the div we are going to have a class name of uh, h screen and bc black okay so basically what this does is like uh, when you have h screen then this keeps uh, 100 vh of height so and now oh, we are going to have another div and inside that div we are going to put uh, some text so let's just put some text over here so these are the text that i'm going to put and below that div we are also going to just uh, map those series that we already have like we have added this data right so we are just going to map these data uh, over here so let's just uh, grab this one and uh, let's just put it over here as well so this image is again going to come from the next uh, next uh, next image okay and uh, now uh, we are having the height of uh, basically when you define an image from the next year you need to define the height and width and uh, you need to part the of course you need to pass the source url and this uh, alt uh, let's put something so basically we are just mapping it so we just can put uh, item dot title and that's okay i think and now if we just uh, and here also we have implemented the flexbox justify content and everything so we're just uh, going to go look into it and if we just refresh the page so we haven't added this to our home screen right so we need just uh, we are going to save it and we need to save this as well and inside the index 
we are going to have another one that is series and that is going to come from the components right so we're just going to save it and now we will have to see the series as well so here we have the series but uh, this text should be at the center right so to do that uh, we are going to go inside the series and uh, this text is include and we need to put some stylings in it so to add the stylings uh, i think we can just add the text as center and this thing, this will work so basically these images are coming from uh, again coming from this uh, cloud uh, url and uh, these are the urls and uh, i will show you about the cloud nary as well so that uh, when you want to upload some other image you can just uh, add the image and use it right so now um and now what we are going to do we are going to create another section and in that section we basically what we're going to have is like uh, uh, this text only and it also had some other background uh, color so we will also look into that so inside the image uh, inside the series after the series uh, actually we have a section i'm just going to call it uh, a billboard section uh, let's just call it bill.js okay so i'm just going to copy paste some of the text that we have so basically all of the screens that we are going to create we are uh, sections that we are creating uh, we are having a 100 vh uh, so that it just take one complete uh, viewpoint and yeah so now what we're going to do is like uh, we're just going to grab the code and i will just walk you through that code so it will just save our time as well and uh, now let me just paste it over here and if you just go through this uh, like we have add screen and uh, margin auto and uh, then we have also defined uh, getting the um, this uh, bz zinc 900 um this is basically the color that is already defined inside the tailwind css so we, we can just grab it and use it over here and these are the text that we are rendering and if you just save it and go inside the index and uh, display the billboard let's just save it so we are having this billboard uh, over here again or oh, not this one uh, we are working on this one that this one is the one that we have already built so over here we just need to add the, this text as white and this text as white as well so let's just go inside the billboard and what are the those texts live tv text uh, so let's just put uh, text white and uh, over here as well like test white so save it and yeah we are good so now we will create another section uh, if we go our finished one uh, we have this section where we are going to have uh, this um, buttons as well these are the, just the tabs when we click on this we go to different screen and uh, basically not the different screen but uh, we update the background image so let's just uh, implement this one and uh, to implement this uh, we are going to have another component and uh, that component uh, we are going to put the name as uh, spotlight let's just put it spotlight okay inside the spotlight we are just going to have rfc and uh, we are going to have some data over here as well so let me just grab the data first and uh, after that uh, we'll add those data so i'm just copying this data from another file and uh, over here so uh, oh, here i am initializing a uh, state select and select uh, set selected and uh, there is going to be a category state so we are uh, i'm not adding any other fields like set categories since we are not going to update it we're just going to get the values from here so that's why and uh, over here uh, what we're going to do is uh, let's have a div first uh, let's 
active and we are going to define some classes so these are the classes that we're going to have h screen and bz bz stands for the background color so we are just going to have the background black and and then we have a flex call column display flex and justify uh, center and we are also going to have uh, yeah that that's all we need i think and uh, inside this uh, basically uh, for defining the background color of this div i'm going to use style um, you might have some options to do it through the talent css as well so i'm not so sure about it so i'm just going to grab the code from here and just put it over here so basically this what will happen is like uh, when we click on certain tab then we will up update this selected to something else and uh, that selected is basically getting these values these uh, live sports so just give me a second uh, it will become more clear as we build this so now inside the div we are just going to uh, i'm just going to copy some of the codes uh, So these are, I'm just trying uh, copying this uh, code so that I can uh, because these are just HTML codes uh, we are just not writing and if they anywhere we are just adding the functionality I will try to explain it and yeah so that's that will help I think and you can obviously grab the code from the description below so you 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 are just free to do that and uh, the uh, all the source code is completely free so you you can just grab this from the GitHub repo. And now uh, we over here we have this tabs right. So this tab is not uh, coming from the Talvin CSS, but we are going to grab this tab from one of the resources that Talvin CSS already provide. So if you just go to the Talvin CSS and go to resources, and inside the resources you will have to see like uh, we have this head headless UI. Uh, if you just uh, go over here, you will have to see like uh, there are certain components are already available you can just uh, grab the code from here and use it so i'm just going to use tab uh, so we are just going to install this one need to install this headless ui headless ui react so let's just do that i just have grabbed the code uh, command and now let me just clear the terminal and just paste it over here and once we do that we will have to install the headless ui and now we need to import the headless ui from the material tab from the headless ui so let's just uh, do that over here and if you just save it we will have to see the changes on the screen i think not now but uh, if we just add this to our index let's just have a spotlight and let's just save it and uh, there is some so i think and that is used it is not defined okay so we need to import the use state we haven't imported it uh, so let's just have use use a state and if you just save it okay one more day. yeah so i need to grab one more functions that we have over here that is class names okay and then we save it and now we will have to see that uh, section as well so we are having this section but as of now we are not implementing we have not implemented this uh, function handle selection so we just need to grab uh, add the handle selection as well so let's just do that just put it over here handle selection so basically this handle selection uh, i have implemented this handle selection over here if we just find this co command and over here we are just passing the handles a category name on click on click on this paragraph so and we are just setting this to the set selected and what uh, this will do is like this will update the selected value and uh, we are just passing the selected over here and inside the categories so it will grab the image url uh, from there okay and uh, if we just save it now we will have to see like we are getting the live sport since uh, uh, we have added this live sport as the default value and then we can just click on breaking news and biggest event yeah. this all are coming right so now uh, there is only 
one section left i think and that is the select plan so there is too much of data for the select plan and uh, we are just going to have too, too many of text for the footer as well so let's just do that i mean similarly i'm just going to grab the code and uh, yeah we will have to do it very easily so if we just uh, go over here and uh, we have this plan selection so which one is this so we have this plan selection and inside this component we are going to create another one that is plan selection dot js and again uh, i'm just going to grab the code from here I'm I and i will just walk you through that so let's just have plan selection and just paste it over here so inside the plan selection what uh, i'm doing is uh, we have this uh, steam library and th uh, thousands of these texts right this is these are the plan names and uh, i have also added like it is available on hulu or H hulu live or hulu not added so so that it will just uh, ren uh, render this tick and uh, else this will not render anything else so let's just uh, save this and if you go to the index and uh, just render this uh, plan selection just save it over here and run this and if you just go to the section uh, in our app in localhost 3000 we are able to see like we are getting this value these are the buttons and this switch is again coming from the headless uh, ui so let's just go to uh, plan selection and here you will have to see like we are having a switch that is again coming from this uh, headless ui react it's pretty good package actually it keeps like all the components that you need for development and then we have this check icon to display if uh, it is uh, the item contains holo is true then this check icon uh, if holo node is true then this one else it is just going to display uh, div okay and there is one icon as well this is the check icon and uh, this uh, we are rendering this as an svg so yeah and now the last part that we have to implement is uh, just a footer so to do that uh, we're just going to create another file called footer and uh, then uh, let's just have a footer and uh, there are too many links available in the footer so we will you know what we will do is like uh, we'll just create a footer and uh, then copy this footer and paste it over here so this is the footer uh, we have this uh, background color and we have implemented all the Talvin CSS stuff over here and if we just save it uh, we will not have to see it but if we just go to our index and put it uh, the footer over here let's just put it over here okay now we will have to see our footer as well so basically one thing that we need to change it like uh, inside the footer we need to update this uh, uh, text as an uh, a, a url like it should be an anchor tag or something like as of now i'm just rendering it as an uh, p tag so we will update that later but uh, i don't think it is required because we are just going to uh, we, we were just thinking of building an ui in next years and uh, uh, using talent css now we are successfully app to like uh, add this screen uh, the first one and now in the next video we will uh, go to our dashboard screen and we will implement all the all the data that we are getting from the tmdb server uh, api and uh, we will just display those data over here so this is it for this video in the next upcoming videos uh, which will be very soon like it will come tomorrow and uh, in the next video we will implement the api as well so if you like the video, consider subscribing and uh, thank you for watching.